So we're coming towards the end of this series. We have a login page, we display the tasks to a user, we allow a user to mark as done or undone. We also have a page to create a new task. Now what we need to do is allow our users to delete the task. After a while, a user will have tons of tasks, this page will be full. And obviously he's not going to want this to be cluttered, so he's going to want to delete some tasks. So we're going to allow him to do that. It's only fair. So let's add some sort of link here. We'll add a little cross next to the name. So just in brackets we'll say cross. And we'll also encase this in small tag. Perfect. And we're going to make this a link. Just a dummy link for now. Perfect, so when the user clicks this, the task will be deleted. So let's create some roots for this. Root get delete array as delete users home controller and get delete. Now we're not going to bother creating a form for this. We could, but I'd rather show you something that I think is very cool. We're going to add a URL parameter here. We're going to say task. Inside here, we're going to say URL root. What did we call it? Delete. And our second parameter will be this. For our second parameter, we're going to pass the task ID. So item ID. So let's just check. Perfect. If you look in the lower hand corner, you'll see the URL forward slash delete forward slash the ID, which in this case is five. We have three, two, one. So let's go to our controller, home controller, and we'll create those methods or that method. Public function get delete. And we also need to pass in this parameter here. So we'll say task. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to echo our task just to make sure that everything works. So delete. Perfect. Now, this is where things get cool. We can either say here, task equals task, find task, if not task, then display some sort of error message, or we can go to our roots file and we can add a root model bind. So, root bind, task function, we're going to have a closure here which takes two parameters, value and root. And here we're going to return an object, specifically an instance of this. So we're going to return item where value equal, uh, sorry, where ID equals value. And we're going to return the first one that we find. So now instead of returning a string or an integer, we're actually be going to return an instance of this, which I think is awesome. So let's just check. We'll say echo get class task. We'll say delete. And as you can see, we have item, which is awesome. And just to get into the habit of type hinting, we'll add that. So this is just literally going to be two lines of code. We're going to say task delete and we're going to return the user back to the home page. So let's go back, delete and we get an error. Task, what's wrong with this? Oh, we named our model item. So let's go back, try again, perfect. If we go back to our database, refresh, it's no longer there. Refresh, no longer there. 